Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're brand new and you're just finding me, hi, welcome. My name's Olivia and I would love it if you wanted to stick around a while, hit the red subscribe button down below and join my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. It's always so nice to see you. And before I forget as well, you can always find me over on Instagram. I'm at Olivia Frida Curbs over there and the link will be down below in the description box so you can find me over on Instagram as well. We are going to talk a little bit about what today's video is going to be about. We're going inside the dressing room at American Eagle. So my last American Eagle haul was their jeans, so just strictly focusing on their curvy jeans um, and the differences, what, you know, what I liked about them, how I found their fit. And I had a lot of people request for more American Eagle, so I'm assuming that means like checking out their tops, checking out sweaters, checking out different kinds of pants. Um, so today, that's what we're gonna be doing in the video. I found it really interesting going in store. I went twice actually, just to make sure that I had enough um, in terms of the outfits. Um, lots and lots of cozy styles. They absolutely had some really great options, so I'm excited to share those with you, and just excited to share the jean options and the pants as well that I kind of found and really, really enjoyed. So without further delay, we are gonna hop into this video, but do remember to give this video a thumbs up. If you do like it, it really helps out my channel and it definitely lets me know that you like these types of videos. And yeah, without further delay, the next time you see me, we're gonna be inside the dressing room. Okay, I just wanna preface this really quickly, guys, that any of the links I have listed down below are the items that I could find or their closest alternative uh, for what I could see on their website. So just know that ahead of things. Uh, so first up, we have this gorgeous blue mock neck chunky knit sweater, and it was beautiful. As soon as I walked in the store, I was like, I have to try that on. That blue is too good to pass up. Such a beautiful chunky knit. I loved that about it. Just really cozy sweater, kind of a boxy fit to it as well, but yet it kind of fit nicely around my hips. Um, I'm just showing you quickly how I would tuck it in if I were to, but um, I ended up kind of liking this fit um, just overall um, outside of the jeans best. Now I've got on these uh, 360 next level curvy highest waist jugging and I've been noticing my black pair have been extremely loose in the waist and I was curious to try on a 10 and they ended up being the best fit in this pair. Um, so lots of stretch in these. They fit the curves so nicely but the 10 ended up being the right fit for me and they're in a beautiful deep dark blue navy which is really great and pairs well with a lot of nice things. Now, I just am showing you again with this sweater. You can see the little balloon sleeves that uh, taper in at the at the wrist area, which I love. Um, I'm just quickly showing you the back of the jeans. The booty area I think looks really nice, and it comes up so high at the back, and there's no gapping at all, which is exactly what I was searching for. Overall, a really cute outfit. So cozy and perfect for, um, you know, one of those cold days in January for sure. So next up is all about these corduroy mom jeans and I wanted to pair something kind of just relaxed with it. So I've got on this plush All The Feels shirt in this lavender color, really, really pretty. And um, I just loved the way that this fit. It was so incredibly soft. I wish you guys could feel it. Um, but now I've got on these mom jeans and they are in this corduroy kind of like faded black gray color. Uh, they're in a size 12 and they're not the curvy mom jeans. So just note that there is a difference between how their regular mom jeans fit and how the curvy mom jeans fit. So there's no stretch at all in these guys. They are a very stiff material. There's no give at all. So I would recommend going with your true size in these. Uh, they're not gonna stretch out on you. They're not gonna kind of give a little bit as you wear them. They are a more typical and traditional true size fit, but I really did like them. They come up nice and high. They've got really great um, corduroy detail. It was really, really soft soft and that was I just it was a big seller for me because I love corduroy that is like that plush really soft feel um, but they fit really nicely like you can see in the back like the shaping on the bum they come up really really nice and high and they just nip you in at the waist I really really did like that and just felt that they fit incredibly well so this was just a cute outfit very casual um, but I just wanted to give you guys the difference between the curvy mom jean and the regular mom jean 
cargo jogging pants? Absolutely. We are coming at you with a very different outfit for me. So totally not my go-to, but I wanted to try it on either way for you guys and just show you something different. This is the mock neck eyelash sweater and it's in this really, really cool, fluffy, furry material. It's a crop length, which fit really cool with these um, cargo jogging pants. The sweater's in a size large. The cargo joggers are in a size 10. And again, they're that curvy fit. So when you're looking at things in American Eagle, once you see that curvy fit, you're gonna know that like you can either at a minimum stay to your true to size or just like if you want something a bit more like curve hugging try on a different size so i'm loving the way that these fit and normally i i just would not be drawn to jogger or the cargo because of the pockets on the side because i've got thicker thighs already i don't want to add any extra bulk i don't want them to kind of look larger than you know i'm already feeling that they are not that there's anything wrong with that um but I actually love the way that these fit. I think that they are extremely like, they're super cool, first of all. I think that they hug me in all the right places. Up at the very top, I don't know if you guys can see this, I think I show you in a minute. They've actually got like a stretchy band that basically is like hugging your waist area, but also is like kind of working with you. And I loved that about it. So they didn't feel overall tight, but they also felt like nice and snug and secure. And I think that they gave me great shape. I think that they were something super different and like just a really cool overall feel. So I really, really liked these guys. I think you can see at the bottom too, they've got a really great tapered in ankle, which um, gives it a skinny feel, but uh, yeah, super cool outfit. And I'm just wanted to show you guys something a little bit different. Okay, this outfit is definitely one of my favorites from the whole haul. I, I just loved this. As soon as I tried it on, I felt really comfortable. Um, I'm wearing the fleece crew neck sweater. Um, it is in a size medium. It's this beautiful oversized sweater, oversized the whole way around. Lots of room in the arms, lots of room in the, the, you know, the sort of fit of the overall body of the sweater. Um, I loved the way that that fit. Then I've got on the stretch curvy mom jean and they've got some distressing at the knee area and I'm wearing these in a size 10 and just once again note that they are the curvy option and not just the regular mom jean. They come up nice and high, they are holding me in and that's just something to keep in mind because as I'm wearing my own mom jeans that I have, um, they are definitely feeling like almost too loose on me at this point. Um, but again, I still will wear them because the mom jean look is, you know, definitely a looser feel. But I was curious to try on a pair like this because I know, first of all, with the curvy line, they're going to they're kind of kind of stretch out on me. They're going to give a little bit more as I wear them. So um, I think that the 10 would be an you know, a good size to go with. Just go down in your size if you're looking for something that isn't going to stretch out too much because that is something that I'm finding currently with my with my ones that I do own. Um, I loved the fit. You can tell from the back. It's hugging me. There's no gapping at all, um, giving me really nice shape and just a great fit. And they are almost that like medium blue, just a cool, cool toned blue and uh, just super cute overall fit. Um, and then I just wanted to give you a little bit closer up from the front so you can see the way that they're they're sitting on me. And I wanted to show you the fit of the sweater, super oversized. Um, so again, I'm wearing this in a medium. I normally would probably wear a large, but um, just due to the oversized feel of the sweater, I sized down just to be safe. Um, but this was such a great little outfit. I was very, very happy with this, and um, and I just absolutely adore their mom jean line. Curvy mom jean line and the regular mom jean line. I think it's fabulous. Okay, so next up, I've got these next level curvy high-waisted jeggings, and they are in a size 10. And then I'm also pairing them with the fleece color block quarter zip sweater. Um, and this is in a size medium. I definitely would have got the size large, but I could not find it. And I was just curious because I kept seeing these sweaters everywhere. Um, not totally in love with the fit and as I mentioned, would definitely be in a large. Um, but I just wanted to give it a try. Just didn't totally work out for me. 
But moving on to the jeans. So as I mentioned, these are the next level curvy high-waisted jegging and they fit really, really well. I actually own a pair of these in the size 12 and just have been noticing that they're a little bit loose around the waist. They're not giving me as much tummy control as I want. And I think you guys know based on different jeans that I've worn on this channel, that's one of my biggest factors that I really do fall in love with the jean is when I feel like they're giving me a lot of the, that control in the midsection. Um, I just enjoy it because I wear a lot of cropped length shirts um, and I think that they fit really well with something that is giving me that extra kind of support in the midsection. Um, overall the rest of the jean fit really nicely. They didn't feel too tight and that I couldn't move in them. There's lots and lots of stretch in the thigh area um, and which I need. I definitely do have um, larger thighs that I could find you know tricky to balance finding jeans that fit the thighs but then also fit the waist and I have to say that they do such a great job at American Eagle with their curvy jeggings because they are almost like a little bit of a second skin they they kind of morph to your body they fit so well and if you're looking for a pair of jeans you know that I think you can just count on as your everyday go-to's this would probably be my recommendation this style um, it just depends you know your next decision is whether or not them whether or not you want them distressed whether or not you want light blue, medium, dark blue, um, that's kind of, you know, would be the next decision you'd have to make. But I think that they would be a really great go-to. Um, and just a really cute outfit overall. Uh, once again, not sold on the sweater, but I definitely fell in love with the jeans. So next up, we've got another crew neck uh, color blocking sweatshirt. This one's in a size large, so I think it definitely fit um, a lot better. And then I've paired it with, I just wanted to pick up these pants and I really couldn't find a shirt that was, that's the one thing I was struggling was finding just like very plain um, shirts to go with, you know, different kind of styles of jeans. These are the next level super high-waisted jegging and they do have a lot of distressing in them. And because of that reason, I did go with the 12. As you can see, that's where I get a lot of that excess in terms of the waist area. Um, and I don't get that added level of support that I, you know, prefer. Even in the back, there's lots of gapping. Even just standing, you can see that there's, um, there's, you know, little bit of extra room but I do find when you have any extra distressing in the thigh area um, you if you're on the fence in terms of the sizing it's going to show in the distressing when it comes to the thigh area um, whereas if you're wearing you know one of the the pairs of jeans where there's no you know totally no distressing at all you won't have that issue so um, I just, I thought this was a really cute outfit, something different, a little bit, um, a little bit different and not necessarily my go-to, but I wanted to show you guys because I feel like, um, you know, there might be some of you guys out there that really do enjoy this type of, um, a jegging and I, I actually do like the kind of really faded out, um, black where they're, they're like this gray, I think they call it a lightning gray on their website, which I think is a really good description. Um, so, uh, you know, overall, these are, again, this next level super high-waisted jegging is one of my, is one of my go-tos, um, but I'm just, I'm just learning, I guess. I'm figuring it out when it comes to the sizing, just trial and error, and it's always about how you feel, not focusing on the number, but focusing on how you feel in the jeans. That's what matters. Just disregard the top in this try-on. I don't know. I thought it was plain black. And here we are with one of the, the kiss lips with the tongue out. Um, again, I thought it was a plain black, but that's just my mistake. But I have paired this with the next level super high waisted jegging um, with that button fly detailing. Okay, we're just showing the top obviously a little bit. I can't find it online, so so sorry about that. Um, I did really like these jeans. So what I was drawn to, of course, is that um, button fly detailing, which we really, really like. Um, I believe I'm wearing these guys in a size 12. Um, I really liked the, the fit. I found that they, well, I guess I'm showing you here that there was that extra sort of material happening in the waist area, but the fit in the thigh was good. And again, you're finding that it had that sort of like the distressing all the way down. So in that case, I'm definitely gonna need the 12. Um, the 10 would have been too too much in the thigh area. 
but I, I did think this was a really cute outfit, like a little bit something edgy. Um, and once again, you know, I thought it was an all, all black sweat, you know, t-shirt, but it wasn't. But there we go. Um, I love the fact with these jeans that they come up so high. So I was just showing you like on me, they come up really nice and high. And I know for some people that is like a total non-selling point for you. You don't like that. You prefer them to kind of hit more below the belly button or just at the belly button. I definitely like if they come above. Um, that's a big selling point for me. So I'm just showing you here exactly where they're hitting on on me and just kind of like how high they're coming up. Um, you know, sitting nice and high and not showing my belly button. So if I'm moving in these and if I did have a crop um, that didn't have the uh, the graphic print, um, we'd be in we'd be in luck. But just overall, a very fun outfit, something different, and was excited to show you guys this. Okay, so next up, I wanted kind of like a bright outfit, and I was kind of um, inspired when I saw these jeans, just really nice and bright blue. And then I wanted to pair them with something as equally as bright. And I picked up this AE All The Feels t-shirt in a size medium. Uh, I loved this incredibly soft, oh my gosh, you guys, really, really soft t-shirt. And um, I kind of took it off the shoulder just to give it a little bit of something, you know, a little added sexiness with this type of a top. I think that's fair to do. Um, and then I've got on the next level jacking again. Um, I guess I'm really drawn to these guys and I feel like I picked them off of different shelves and I think I'm picking something different, but turns out I'm picking, um, you know, the same jean, but the, the difference is it's a lighter jean and that's not one that I'm totally to like, you know, drawn towards. I prefer the medium blue, I prefer the darker denim, but um, once in a while I like to, you know, try on a light jean, throw it into the mix, and I um, was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with this guy. I think it looked really nice, and um, I think it's always nice. I think if you pair a lighter color on the top as well with these, I think like coral would be really pretty, or maybe even just a plain white crisp tee with this would be great. Um, just a really nice outfit and um, something a little bit brighter in the winter months for sure. And that's gonna do it for this Inside the Dressing Room at American Eagle. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, as always, let me know down in the comments below, what was your favorite outfit? What was your favorite pair of jeans? Did you find kind of the sizing um, differences interesting? Because I mean, in some jeans or pants, I was finding that like maybe a 10 fit better and some definitely the 12 fit better. So for me, that just is saying that you have to always be, you know, careful when you're looking at the type of jean, how much stretch it has, um, how, how you want the overall fit to look um, when you're, you know, trying on and don't be afraid to experiment with sizing. It is just a number and it is all about the fit. So just go with what makes you feel comfortable and not necessarily even focusing on the number, just use that as a guide for whatever fits your body the best. But I'm, yeah, I'm really curious to know what you guys liked. And if you are a big shopper at American Eagle, I'm curious about that too, let me know. Um, but as always, remember you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Olivia Frida Curves over there. And please do give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And if you are not already subscribed, do remember to hit that red subscribe button down below. It would mean a lot if you wanted to subscribe to my channel. So that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me inside the dressing room. I appreciate it as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.